What's up, YouTube? Today is a really special day, and we are so excited because we just hit one million subscribers! So excited! We want to thank all of you for the views, comments, and for subscribing to our channel. And in honor of this milestone, and as a way to thank you for always caring to hear what we gotta say, we are giving one lucky fan a chance to win $500. To enter, all you have to do is comment below and make sure you are subscribed to the channel and use hashtag sweepstakesentry. We'll pick one lucky eligible winner randomly, so only enter once. Viewers who post multiple comments may be disqualified. Sending so much love to everyone around the world watching our videos. South Africa, Amsterdam, England, the folks in the Caribbean, Latin America, we see you all. And we, we love you! you! <laughs> an Instagram account for him or Araya. No freaking way. No. Really? No. Because I think there is a big difference between having my kids on my personal Instagram and them having their own. To me, I don't know, I think that's like low-key advertising and, and pimping out your child. And we live in a very dangerous scary world nowadays and that's kind of like just opening the floodgates for anybody and everybody to come in and comment on your child like how they look what they're wearing i mean i do follow instagrams like uh fashion kids yeah um but it actually shows the kids like you know fashion and sometimes they have moms in the picture as well maybe like uh, nursery ideas but just following psh, if I had a grown man following my son or daughter's Instagram, I'm going to question that. Like, why do you have to follow my six-year-old? Like, yes. why do you have to follow my five-year-old or my two-year-old? That's just I think odd this to me. Tired of that lame old star on top of your Christmas tree each year, why not get a superstar? <laughs> a nonprofit organization called Women to Look Up To has released Christmas tree toppers that are sure to give your tree that glow up. Oh. For example, you actually can put some love on top of your tree with Beyonce. You can serve up some spirit. Oh, oh. Serena Williams. Check this one out. Look that, at Serena that Williams. Good one. And you can oh, even deck the cool. halls with Hillary. So, ladies. Who would you like to see? <laughs> wow. I know, it's hysterical. Who would you like to see on top of your tree? I wouldn't mind Michelle Obama. I miss oh, her. Oh, that's a <laughs> Yes. Oh, she that would, would be so beautiful. beautiful mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that a great dress. one. I'm not yeah. going to lie. I would totally do the Serena Williams one. Yeah, yeah I like that You know, one. just seeing her gear. She got married. She's a mother. She's my favorite athlete of all time. So I'm like, Ooh, oh, look my God. Look at them tatas. They got them, yeah. didn't they? they? There you go. Those. She'll Ooh. make... Who else? I'm like trying to think. Oh, mine would low key rhyme. I'd have Serena and Selena. Oh, oh, my oh that's, that's a good cool. one. Too. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah, I'd do cute. Selena on the top of a Christmas tree. I, I love me some Oprah so oh, yes. much. Because when I look at her, I just think she's the type of woman who, once she got the success for herself, it really has never been just for her. It's always been that she's the human microphone to light up somebody else who deserves yes. the attention, yeah. the accolade, yeah. and the hope for others. And that's, that's really what I aspire to be. Because I want to, like, well, you know... Well, you guys, I love all these women that you guys are talking about. Okay. I'm not putting no celebrity with wings on top of my tree. <laughs> I'm just not going to do that. To me, it's only because I learned what the star actually means when you put it on top of a tree. And yes. I'm not going to change the meaning of Christmas. Okay. For just... So is it anybody? Gonna be, no. Is it, is it gonna so be, what's the star? The star means it actually represents the star of Nef Bethlehem. Oh. Bethlehem. Okay. The, that the wise men saw up in the sky to meet Jesus. And they put an angel on top of the Christmas tree because that represents the uh, angel of Gabriel. The angel Gabriel that uh, visited Mary mm -hmm. uh, to tell her that totally. she was going to yeah. have you having that baby, baby Mary. Jesus. Okay. Well, yeah, I feel well, like a... Did you know? Well, yeah. <laughs> now I feel like a jerk. Yes. <laughs> well, I think, no, it's not... It's, I like I the idea. It's, it's, yeah, it's just, just Christmas variation. is one of my favorite holidays. You know? Yeah. 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 I mean, if you're a traditionalist, yeah, but if yes. you're not like us, three helpers, no. please, you don't. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. <laughs> so, let's say we got Jesus at the top. Uh, or the star. Yes. Then hanging down below. If you could put on an ornament. I would yeah. totally do that. Who would it be? Hmm. 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I would have to Ow. agree with no. <laughs> I would have to agree with Lonnie Michelle Obama. Yeah, yeah. she is a good one. She's an amazing woman. Inside, out. Do you do the nativity scene and everything for I your do. home? They I do. I do. Oh, it is checked always, out at her house. Yes. Okay. It I is. had a no, nativity scene. It's a good up, thing. It's pretty. And I always would be the one that got to put baby Jesus in the manger oh, in the morning. He has arrived.